Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maritza and I'm tuning in today um, to share with you guys a little bit of what, what's in my heart, especially because it's my birthday. If you haven't yet done so, please subscribe, uh, like, share, and comment. I will And stay tuned for more videos. Today, being that it's my birthday, uh, I've been thinking a lot about, you know, what what have I learned throughout this time? You know, what it, what it has stuck with me? And I realized that the one one I guess companion that has been with me the longest is the sense of shame. Shame is something that I'm very familiar with. I believe that it's it's in part because of the sexual abuse that I encountered that made me very shameful of myself. It's also the home environment that I grew up in made me very ashamed of who I was because the drunkenness that I saw and the brokenness that I saw around me and in my family culture, I, I, I adopted it as my own form of identity it was part of me so it made me very shameful growing up and things like that so I have carried shame for such a long time and I've realized and this is something that I want to share with you guys and this is going to be very quick if you are dealing with ocean size shame like me in order to move beyond and actually it, it feel at, at a certain point it felt like I was drowning in shame and the only way that I was able to come up to the surface and catch some air was when I began to deal with those things that were bringing me shame. Was when I was able to face those things that were bringing me shame. Shame just doesn't, doesn't go away. And I'm here to tell you that, you know, I'm 32 years old today. And the one thing that I've learned is that to overcome things, it, it, it's not a one-time thing. You got to work at it. Healing takes work. And I'm here to tell you and encourage you work on yourself it's not all about self-development it's about healing and we, we i mean we are we're, we're hurt in so many different ways there's so many different layers and to heal those layers um it takes real work and it's like steps it's like it's like visualize stairs and you have to take one step at a time to reach to the top and maybe yeah you can skip a step but that step that you never in in healing that step that you never took was so important um, because it's not, it's going to come and affect you and going to bite you in the butt. And I'm so I'm here to tell you that in your process to healing, deal with everything. Don't run away from anything because you're always in that. You're going to position yourself in a process of healing and healing is a journey. Think about that. Work on yourself. And if there's one thing that I can tell you today is that don't think about the destination and where you want to be. Just enjoy the journey and know that healing is not a destination. It's, 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 it's a process to becoming that which you desire to be. So I'll leave you with that. God bless and stay tuned for more of my videos.